Well, this is a report that looks at uh, a large number of killings uh, and displacement in the Kasai region uh, of the Democratic Republic of Congo, which is the South Central region. Um, between March and June uh, of this year, uh, our team documented a large number of killings, uh, 251 killings of individuals, um, a large number, large number of them children, uh, 62 of the cases were of children that were killed. Um, in the context uh, of a crisis and uh, attacks going out on an ethnic basis, um, but with government complicity, so with state forces involved in, in organizing and backing one of the ethnic-based militias that have been carrying out attacks. The primary source of information was from direct victims and witnesses of, of what took place. Uh, so our team carried out interviews in refugee camps, um, in hospitals, with people that showed the signs uh, of, of physical harm. Many of them had horrific stories um, to tell. Uh, including of children uh, having their limbs chopped off, um, of people being hacked uh, with, with machetes. Um, one attack in the village uh, of Sink, uh, where 90 people um, were killed uh, in the hospital. One very disturbing finding uh, that our team noted on the ground was victims uh, and witnesses again and again mentioned that uh, when their village was attacked, um, the attackers coming from one ethnic group were often accompanied by either police uh, or local officials or officials from the army. The High Commissioner is calling on the government uh, to send out a clear message uh, and instruction that um, this must stop. Um, the militias must be disbanded, all militia must be, must be disbanded, um, and the security forces of note the army and the police uh, carrying out operations in this area um, must be held to account uh, and they must comply uh, with international human rights norms as they carry out their, um, their policing and, and security functions.